This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Quality curricula and strong pedagogy. But it does mean that your strategies won't succeed if you can't connect meaningfully with students. As this book goes to press, trauma-informed is a big buzzword in education. The challenge is how to translate this relatively recent interest into enduring shifts in policy and practice. Current discussion about trauma is part of a historic period of change in how we think about ourselves and our communities and helping people. Educators can be a great part of the solution and champion the larger conversation we need to have with parents and our communities. As an educator, you don't have a choice about being in the trauma business. You do have a choice in what you do about it. This book is a practical tool to help you begin to incorporate trauma understanding and management skills into your daily practice. It is a guide to understanding trauma, building the strong relationships needed to reach the academic outcomes you want, perceiving what students need to break the cycle, and scaffolding new learning for all struggling learners. Simply put, this book offers a path to sustainable change. Despite the sobering evidence of the profound effect trauma has on our schools, this book is about hope and growth. Rather than providing a prescriptive curriculum or a complicated framework, this book will help you use good science to adapt to the needs of students who have experienced and continue to be exposed to trauma. It will show you how your practice is the vehicle for change. Thank you for being part of the conversation. Christopher Blodgett, Ph.D., Washington State University, Summer 2015 Introduction Raise levels of academic achievement for every student. That's our mission in schools. Education is the gatekeeper to choices in life, and it is how we gauge our youth's readiness for a productive entry into society. Teaching students the three R's is, of course, a massive responsibility and a great first step in preparing them for graduation and beyond. Yet it's not enough. There are additional R's that our students must learn. Responsibility, respect, resilience, relationship. It seems as though more and more students are arriving at school lacking these and other crucial skills. Instead, they step into our schools toting heavy burdens, the stress of overwhelming trauma and the scars of neglect and abuse. The experience of trauma has dramatically altered the landscape of the schools we work in. I have a singular focus. To help you equip your students with the skills to succeed, I want to support you in creating a safe and predictable space that fosters not only students' learning, but also their overall development. My professional role is a licensed mental health therapist, and I have partnered with veteran school principal and current education consultant Pete Hall to write this important book. Although our two roles are different, the approaches we take are often similar. You, the listener, have the most important role of all— directly influencing the environment in which students face daily academic and interpersonal challenges. Teachers, parents, guardians, mental health professionals, counselors, caretakers, administrators, support personnel, and anyone else who has a hand and a heart in the education of our youth, this book is for you. What's in this book? In Chapters 1 and 2, I discuss what trauma is and what forms it may take. Research on trauma has exploded over the last 10 years, and we now know more than ever the significance of its effect on development and learning. In these early chapters, I introduce you to the biological nature of trauma and connect it to the purpose of the strategies I share throughout this book. I discuss the prevalence of adverse childhood experiences, ACEs, and explain how these not-okay events, a euphemism for trauma and other damaging occurrences, affect students' readiness to learn. You will learn that while each child's narrative is important, 
The simple fact that a student has experienced trauma is all educators really need to know. Because